Hello and welcome to my channel Networking with Edge. In this session of CCNA series, we will do a lab uh, on how to configure layer to ether channel using LACP. For this, I have a small topology in which I have two switches connected back to back via direct links and uh, we will configure the ether channel bundle between these two switches. As you know, LACP is a standard protocol which dynamically negotiates ether channeling between two switches. So our objective in this lab will be to configure layer to ether channel using LACP and verify ether channel whether it's successfully established and functioning properly. I have a couple of commands to verify it. So this is the step by step guide. I'll be sharing all the steps in the description section. Please go through it when you want to practice. So I'll be using packet tracer for this lab. Uh, we'll go step by step and uh, verify and configure the same. So let's hop onto the packet tracer. Here I have two switches connected back to back. Uh, let me hop onto the first switch by double clicking on the switch. You can then access it by through CLI. So what I have done is I have configured FA0 slash 1 and 2 under I mean uh, I have configured it as an access port with VLAN 10 and I have configured it as access port so let me remove the previous uh, port channel configuration okay okay now we can see only the interface with VLAN configuration is available so let me hop onto the global configuration mode and then interface mode. So I will use interface range command to configure both the ports together. So this is a shortcut command. Uh, if you have more ports, then it's much easier. You can also do go in interface by interface, but I prefer to use interface range command. Uh, it's better to type it once rather than typing it two, three times. So the command to enable the layer to ether channel is channel group whenever you face any confusion you can type in the question mark it will give you what comes next so i can give any port number i'll give port channel number two and then you need to define the mode as you know in lacp there are two modes active and passive so the active modes the active mode it enables the lacp unconditionally which means like it doesn't wait for the other switch to send any messages it will initiate that session so on switch one we will configure it as active on switch two we will configure it as a passive so when you enable this channel group there is only one command to enable uh, port channel this is the command so once you enable it it creates the port channel if you see here the port channel is created now we have to configure it on other switch as well for this port channel to make bring it up again i'll get into interface mode and then enable layer to port channel mode so in the switch one we configured it as active so here we'll configure it as passive which means it will wait for the other device to send lacp messages so i will configure it as passive as soon as you configure it creates the port channel now in packet tracer there's a trick if you want to bring the port uh, any if you want to fast forward the negotiation process you can just click on it it will fast forward it so this will bring the port up now let's verify the port channel let me show you in my guide as well if you see here uh, we configured this switch port and configure the LACP configuration. Now to verify the ether channel, uh, you can use show ether channel summary command. This will tell you the status of the ether channel, show ether channel summary. If you see here, uh, it shows all the details required about the status of the port channel, like for example, port channel number, and then uh, the codes defined in this output will tell you what is the status for example port channel it says s and u s means 
it is a layer to port channel and then u means it is in use similarly it will tell you which protocol it used it used lacp and then which ports are in port channel so fa0 slash 1 and fa0 slash 2 with p capital p symbol if you see here it says it is in port channel another command which uh, that is important is uh, there are two, two more commands this one is to just check the status of the port channel if the port channel is up if you see here show interface port channel number will tell you if the port channel is up if the line protocol of that port channel is up and then which ports this is also another important thing whenever you troubleshoot port channel you have to make sure the ports are up and available in the port channel so this line tells you which port are the member of this port channel similarly let's hop on uh, there is a, one more command uh, show ether channel port channel this will tell you more details like for example the age of the port channel since how long is it up or which protocol used we already saw that in the previous command and the number of ports another important thing is which mode did it use right now we are using active mode on switch one we can hop onto switch two and see uh, which mode did it use show ether channel port channel if you see here it used passive mode so this command is also important to tell you the details of the negotiated uh, modes protocols number of ports for how long is it up this is the details uh, these are the all required details for uh, configuring and verifying the lacp another important show command which i want to show you is what is the default load balancing method it use show ether channel load balance this tells you what load balance method is it using you can also change it by configuring port channel load balance i will make it you can type in question mark and put if you want to load balance it based on source ip you can configure it and you can verify it like previously it was showing source mac now it is showing source ip that's it for this session i hope this was informative for you for more such videos please do like share and subscribe also if you want a, a ccna certification like a complete ccna certification please do follow me on udemy uh, i'll be more than glad to help you guys uh, personally over there and i'll be sharing more details regarding ccna certification on udemy i'll share more resources and uh, required files related to labs and then practice exams in my udemy course please do uh, remember to check this out and uh, if interested please do enroll i'll be waiting for you guys there thank you for watching